Um, you know, I don't know all the specifics on the regulations. Okay. But um, I think if we're thinking about breakfast, for example, mm -hmm. unfortunately, a lot of the choices that kids are presented with, exactly, <laughs> like you mentioned, are, again, high sugar mm -hmm. options. So um, we did a little calculation, and if you take an average student breakfast. So let's mm. say there's the containers of the juice and milk. Okay. If you have, you know, an eight ounce container of orange juice plus an eight ounce container of school of skim milk mm -hmm. plus one of those, you know, there's those new cereal that come in containers cool. so they already have sure. their bowl. Yes. So if you do an average just one of those, mm -hmm. then basically you end up with twenty teaspoons of sugar in just that meal. And I'm sure... And that's not even filling. I mean, sorry, but I could probably down four of those little cereals on my, by myself. Exactly, because <laughs> there's no protein and healthy no. fats in there. So that's what makes you full, is the healthy proteins and, and fats. And the healthy fats, exactly. So unfortunately, our kids then start off their day with a bowl full a sugar of sugar. Right. Exactly, and we're missing other healthy All components. the important stuff. Exactly. So then they get to mid-morning and they're going to crash at some point. Exactly. I mean, what goes up must come down. I know I've come down after Easter. I came down off of my sugar rush. Yeah. So it wasn't pretty. Right, exactly. <laughs> you don't feel very and good. And these kids, they don't know. I mean, they just act out their emotions, a lot mm -hmm. of them that are so young. Mm -hmm. So then what do they wait for lunch? They have school lunch. Say they have a school breakfast and a school lunch. Now what are they going to be eating for lunch? Right. Well, and unfortunately, I think it brings us back to that same idea. A lot of the options aren't very high quality foods. If we're having right. pizza, um, hot dogs, you know, these kinds of choices, plus sugared milk, right. then we're ending up with a breakfast high in sugar as well as a lunch high in sugar. So we've got kids on sugar highs and lows throughout the day. Right. Can't think very well.